It is warm. Way warm. Ain't it warm? Pipped out a ghost. Oh, look at that. Lovely. Anyone else out there can beat that? Yeah, I've never heard that before. Good afternoon, Fenlanders. I'm Daniel, aka Farmer Boy. We are gonna start thinking about moving some straw over to the um, pig units. Simon wants some help moving his bales off the field. So uh, we're gonna help him do that. We're gonna get the straw trailer on. Well warm, isn't it? Way warm. But yeah, the only trailer tractor we've got that will run the um, straw trailer is the 190, so I'll have to use that. So yeah, you may laugh. I haven't actually used this tractor, the 190, since it really came off the Basilier. I mean, Dad's just changed the fan underneath the uh, seat. Underneath the seat there, there is three fans, two that do all the blowing, and one pressurizes the cab and feeds the other two fans, I think. Grumpy Grandad has changed the fan in there, and he's also done the same on the 170. But every time I've been firing this up, I've noticed a little whiff of dust coming out of the radiator. So, um, so uh, Chances are I forgot to blow the radiator out, so here we are. I'll tell you what else we changed on this tractor as well. I don't know if anyone else has had this, but the uh, air filter lid. That is, a, that is a lid for the air filter, that is, guys. That's a lid for the air filter, and um, it warped. When they warp, they uh, just fill the um, fill their air filter up with um, dust. Our dust goes like talcum powder, so uh, I'll, I'll leave you there and I'll blow the radiator out. It's almost like my engine bay pipped out a ghost. It's like just pure white talcum powder dust coming out of the... Uh... Oh, look. I know you lot of farmers, so you'll all be doing a bit of this. And Minnie, who's normally the most hyperactive, has had enough. She's come to a standstill. Come on, dog, let's put you away. Whew. It is warm. The good thing is, the airbox lid has fixed the problem of the air filter filling up with dust. So that's awesome. <laughs> what have you got done to your ear? Boris, come here. You've got ears sticking out on its own. What have you got in your ear? Oh, where have you been to get that? Yeah, treat the old 6190R to a little bit of love. I checked the water while I was here, and that's all good. I've checked the oil while I'm here, and that is absolutely aces. Yeah, big old air conditioning rad. So you don't never need to clean your radiator really out on your um, on your normal road car. Don't never get dirty. But this thing's sucking in so much air to keep cool. I can't remember how big these engines are. Uh, 6.8 litre, 6.9 litre engine in it. So, as you can see, big turbo. They're a fair size engine and they suck in so much air. Yeah. And especially on our land. Other people may find it different on like slightly heavier land that doesn't come become dusty. They might find that they never have to blow their red out at all unless they're like harvest time or whatever. But yeah, I mean Grumpy Grandad's brilliant really. He just um like when we're harvesting and on the combine and stuff, if he's sitting around waiting, he'll uh, get the airline out and blow his rad out. I mean, at the end of the day, he paid for him. He paid for him, and if he doesn't look after him, nobody's gonna look after him, so you gotta look after these things. I can't afford another one, so. I'm gonna turn you off for a minute and wipe my forehead, I think. So, that's anyway. so we're always doing something different here. Oi. What you got to sit and have a minute? Uh, you ain't got to sit and have a minute, have you? Yeah. Well, I shouldn't really. Should we have a nap together? Yeah. <laughs> just looking at them all makes you want to sleep. I don't know what I've got to do with the front here. I've got to just um, strap one on. Yeah, just strap it back. Yeah. I'll, I'll put two on the other side. Yeah. Strap it back. Yeah. Then load the rest, then strap the back, and then I'll put another stack, twin stack on top, and then I'll put a single roll on the top. All right, cool. Mm. How many barrels an acre did he get? 
17.7. Pretty impressive. It's 28, that's open for 20 acres, of, but I think this is 19 and a half. So might be a little bit. Anyone else out there can beat that? 17 and a half bales an acre? Let us know. Yeah, I've never heard of that before. It was some thick old grass, wasn't it? Yeah. What are we putting these, about five high? No, three high. I wish I could get them. I can only just reach three high with a load. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. Oh, look at that, lovely. Let's go and have a sniff and see how sweet it is. Oh, it smells nice and sweet. Oh, I smell that. Lovely fresh hay smell. Uh, uh. Yeah, this this is my furthest away field. So this has been in my family for 70 years, I think, this field, this strip of land. 25 acres here with a bit on the end there. Which our farm is just the other side of them trees over there. But we have to come 11 miles all the way around, all the way around to Hockwold and then back in. So anyone that knows the local area knows that's quite a, quite a trek for me. And then uh, it's like two ton an acre wheat land. So if you get it right, if you can get it packed down firm enough and, and, and enough manganese on it over winter, it's, it's good stuff, it, it, it will do four ton an acre, it will do it, but it's just, everything has to be right. And it may be one in five years you get everything right, weather-wise, timing, drilling dates, sprays. But yeah, I've been stuck everywhere on this field. I got majorly stuck over there one year. Yeah, I went through the biggest wet hole on the, with the mower, trying to mow some cover crops down, and that was total disaster so yeah i mean simon's not had any issues with getting stuck and stuff over here doing the grass so i'll uh, leave it to him let him crack on put the gopro down on here and you look and watch i like watching people work it's great it's one of my favorite pastimes i'll go and do some strapping down That's how we do hay. I'm tempted to see how far I can roll one up the field. Just because I'm silly like that. Okay, Simon is always on the phone. <laughs> He's going to love me saying it. But if he did a look more, more working and not less talking on the phone. That don't seem too difficult a job with the tractor. I'm not used to load of tractors. Um, you lot, you lot might be a bit more used to them, but I mean, I've never, I've never really had to deal with a load of tractor at all. So, I think my next tractor may well have a loader on it, just for like spring drilling and drilling when I'm far away from home, you know, and just odd little jobs, you know, and just taking a tractor 50k a bit more comfort than you can a telehandler. So, I don't know really. Trailer's working well, guys. Anyway, I love it. 16 bales at a time. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Got a whole load of new tyres on it. There's only one set of tyres at the back there needs needs replacing. One of them's got a bit slack anyway, so. There's a bit of rough up in the corner there where we always used to get stuck where Simon's heading, but in the corner. It's it's overgrown with wildflowers and stuff now and, and natural weeds and things. Me and Anna are gonna try and work on this regenerative uh, farm in Malarkey and uh, get some wild bird mixes drilled into the uh into the odd little bits of field that we've got like like wonky shaped fields and stuff try and help them out the bees the insects you know hopefully gumpy gandad's gone off to get the uh bits for the combine the injection pump came back for the little 6200 so uh the next few videos are going to be all about uh carting hay and putting stuff back together hope you enjoy that sort of thing lots of fixing coming up keep watching to see how we get on 
<coughs> One last little thing I gotta do while I'm out with the round bail. Nah, I can't do it. I'm gonna end up with a broken neck. And I don't like a broken neck. Not anymore. My knees died hurting, my hips died hurting, so I don't give up with that one.